I'm Mike Jones with Variety, here with Rosario Dawson, who has Explicit Ills here at South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what Explicit Ills is about. Um, Explicit Ills is a film that looks at people in Philadelphia struggling with homelessness and poverty. Um, so it's a it's actually an ensemble cast, and you're seeing they at 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 one point they actually do kind of the storylines kind of culminate together, um, but you're mostly looking at these just different situations and different age groups, different relationships, different people, at you know all walks of life, just kind of struggling with you know trying to survive with dignity. There's a character um, Bebo, who's a young young child uh, named Francisco, who plays the part of Bebo, who's seven years old, um, and I play his mom. So I come in fairly, you know, I, I'm I'm he's a very strong sort of central character in the film, and I my my character sort of complements um, where he's at. So you know the the film is really a comment on Philadelphia as. Um, you know, a city that has one of the highest murder rates in the country. Yeah. Um, did the director kind of prepare you with some of the history of Philadelphia? I mean, it kind of goes back. Yeah, you know, I was actually really lucky because, you know, Mark Weber, who's the director, writer-director of this, he is someone I worked with before. And when we had worked then, he talked quite a lot about how he grew up because I had grown up in a squat in the Lower East Side and we were here in this you know, Chelsea Hotel and it just brings up a lot of stories, you know? And so he was talking about his upbringing and you know, all the stuff that he's done with his mom and how many times she's been arrested and homeless rights and poverty rights. Like this is just something, you know, they lived out of a car for a period. And so that was a lot of what the history for, was for me was his personal history of just seeing how he struggled and just being so proud of him, you know? And as he's kind of risen and, and moved on and, and done such great things in his life, I was just really moved that this is the story that he wanted to tell and how he wanted to tell it. I think it's really brave and it's really strong and it's very honest. But you said you worked with Mark Weber before. What was I that? I did. What, what film was that? Um, it was a movie called Chelsea Walls. Uh -huh. Um, it was Ethan Hawke's directorial debut, actually, and uh, that was also a really great ensemble. We shot that in the Chelsea Hotel. It was just really beautiful, and we spent a lot of time together and talked, but then over the years, you know, you see each other here or there, and it's weird because you have such a strong situation, such a strong bond, sure. what we were trying to go for, and then it just, you know, it's like, okay, see, it's like going to camp and then going away. And I remember when he, ca he called me, and he was, you know, trying to contact me, and was like, yeah, I have wrote the script, and I really want you to read it, and I want to know what you think, and I'd love for you to be in it. And I finally, I got my whole my hands on it and I jumped on a plane and I read it on the plane and I was bawling like it is so intense and so beautiful and I, I really had an amazing time doing it I mean it was really hard it wasn't if it wasn't fun you know in that was particular in that regard like there was some really rough stuff but I had so much freedom to like you know I bleached my hair I was like on the train ride from New York coming in and it was about to be picked up by Liz Destro the producer like a half an hour in and I was just going over the script again I was like I think she should ha I should bleach she should bleach her hair but she should have like inch long roots because she's so poor she can't afford Forward to get another bottle of bleach from the store. Like I want to just have it. You just look at her, and you can just see this is a woman who doesn't have five cents in her in her pocket. And they're like, "Really? You want to bleach your hair?" I was like, "Let's do it. Let's just yeah. go for it." Like I was just there was something about it just really inspired me to just go there, you know. And and what everyone was doing is was definitely like an extreme love project. And I and I I love that with independent film, and I love that with what he was doing, the people he got, Paul Dano. I mean, like everybody's amazing in this. And there's something so incredible about that. And I guess for some people, like people who I know who d grew up in theater and doing theater, that's what that's like for them. It's like oxygen. And getting and in, doing independent film like that is for me. It's, I didn't really grow up in theater. I haven't done so much theater at all. And I'm grateful that I continue to have a life in that world, you know, and that I get calls from someone like Mark, who I so respect, and, and read a script like this. Because this is not going to be something that's going to be read by a lot of people, you know? But it doesn't mean that it's not extremely valuable. Like, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. How I was so grateful to have had any connection that I would get that phone call. Like, I'm, I'm always, I always feel that way about something that's wonderful, you know? And I'm just grateful to still be in the game that I can continue to do stuff like that and, and, and stretch myself, because this was not an easy job, you know? And that's what was really great about it, you know? He was demanding something of me, and I learned sure. on this process. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, Rosario, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Are you getting, like, the wave? <laughs> We're getting the wave. <laughs> this is, like, one of the best interviews. You know why? Why? Because I didn't say anything. I didn't yeah, yeah. Nothing. <laughs> really. I think, like, all I said was, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, that's what you do, uh-huh, yeah. Should I, not, should I stop that? <laughs> it was very puffy of you. <laughs> yeah. Yes.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs>